But I mean, for, for us tonight, it's, uh, again, another game where we've got to put away our chances. I mean, it's an easy night. Um, but we, we get in and around their goal with clear cut chances and we don't take them. Um, and a team like that, if you, if you leave it for leave them hanging around, they've got enough dangerous players, and we've seen them come back from some pretty dire circumstances in games this year. they played in their um, division, and, and they don't quit. They never say die. I think they're a well-coached team. Um, so um, tonight was, I think, very much a, a result of just not putting away our chances to, to finish the game. I think after an early goal, um, the team developed maybe a little bit of complacency. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was a little bit of complacency. Um, that's we've seen that a little bit as well. Uh, Montreal scoring an early goal there. I think that in soccer it's a cliche, but you can score a little bit too early sometimes, um, and then people tend to relax a little bit. And then uh, we got into some bad habits for middle parts of the first half, uh, giving the ball away way too cheaply, um, and I think that caused us uh, some trouble, some shift in momentum. Jason, it. It seemed like you did control most of that first half. Do you think going into the locker room at half and not putting away a second goal really led to them coming out with confidence? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, the two really, really clear-cut chances in the first half, if we put either one of them away, I think we were, we were in a different spot. Um, I don't think that they have as much belief um, going into the second half if they're down 2-0. But at 1-0, I think that they've got some belief, and I think that they know that they can really try to focus on the counter. They were cheating incredibly bad um, with their numbers in the second half, um, leaving three players high and just trying to hit us on counterattacks. And unfortunately, we got in and around their goal fairly easy, um, but didn't, I didn't think made really good decisions with it when we got there um, to try to punish them. So uh, because of that, it, it left us a little bit exposed at our back. Did you talk a little bit about Kari Stevenson and Joao Plata's contribution in the overtime period today? Uh, I think all of the substitutes that came on uh, gave us a spark and a bit of energy and then grab a boy as well. Uh, and you're really going to need it, especially when the game is 120 minutes long. So really thankful for all three of those guys' contributions and as thankful for everybody tonight that they stuck in it and um, kept believing and kept working extremely hard. I think that this could be somewhat of a momentum builder for us if we take it the right way. You can look at it the negative way and say that we shouldn't have had to get to overtime, or you can look at it the positive way and say that that was a really – difficult test for us to give away a goal late and then have to go into an overtime period of 30 minutes. Uh, it would have been easy to fold up shop and, and walk away with a loss, feeling sorry for ourselves, but we didn't. We kept our chins up, we worked hard, uh, and scored two good goals to win the game. Jason, how much ground does Devin Sandoval cover in a game like that? I, mean, I don't know. I'd like, important, like to put a chart on him because he's, he was working extremely hard. Um, I did feel like he had gone through a lull over the past couple of weeks where his fitness level, I think, dropped a little bit. Um, but tonight he proved me absolutely wrong. Um, he worked extremely hard, covered an unbelievable amount of ground, and then was forced to play in the midfield uh, in the overtime period. And I think he did it quite admirably. Mark Lavelle's, was that a hamstring? Yeah, Lavelle? Lavelle had a hamstring issue, so we tried to push him up front where we would ask him to do a whole ton of running for us, um, which meant Matt had to play right back. and. Uh, Devin had to play the right side of midfield. Despite not finishing your chances, did you always feel like you were going to be able to hold on to that 1-0 lead or just the way you were playing at the back? I did. I did. Um, but, you know, as it wore on, you could see that they would just keep three players high. We do no defending. And so you knew, and they were, I think, two of the three were fresh, hadn't played the first 60 or 70 minutes. Um, so I knew that they were going to be dangerous on the counter if we didn't do enough with the ball. I think in particular on the goal, if we look back at it, I bet you that we lost it fairly cheaply at the top of the box, um, and then we're exposed uh, on a counterattack. So it sounds like you have some thoughts for your players, but how do you feel as a coach uh, after what happened last year, how relieved are you with the outcome tonight? Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy. I don't know about relief, per se. Um, this is just a, a tournament that that I've been pretty clear about with the players, and I think I've been pretty clear about with everybody. I want to win this tournament, um, and I want to win it in the worst way. So uh, I'm happy that we've advanced. Uh, we've got three more games, right, to win it, uh, and the next one's at home. So we will be putting the same exact emphasis on that one. Uh, just how will this game affect your game coming up Saturday with all these, some of you guys going on in 20 minutes? Yeah, it'll make things difficult for sure. Um, be forced into a situation where they won't probably won't train the rest of the week. Um, just getting massages and stretching and 
taking care of their bodies to regenerate and recuperate them for Saturday, such that we can have as many of those players available for that game as possible. Um, but I'm sure that there's going to be one or two that probably would just be ruled out. Uh, your next game is also against a lower division opponent with, with the U.S. Open Cup. Do you look at this experience in the last one and say, look, these guys can keep up with us? Or how do you, how do you approach that? With oh, I think so. Um, I really do. Um, I, you know, we were very clear with our team yesterday. Uh, I, I'm honest with you. I think that's a very good team. I think that they have four players in the attacking half of their field that are very, very good players. Um, even five, if you think about Luna coming off the bench tonight. Um, the kid that scored the goal, the, their second goal, looks like he's crafty as well. So they, there's a lot of players in our country and that are playing soccer right now that can play. They're not all in the MLS. Anything else for Jay? All right. Locker room's open.